Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a few of the trucks out, including our 67 Ultimate High Boy project over here. And I uh, thought I would share with you guys just why I like the 67s and uh, what makes the 67 so special. So let's go dig into it. Hey guys welcome back to the channel I have the trucks out here I thought I would show you just why I love the 67's and what makes the 67's so great this is a 67 F100 that I converted to a high boy and uh, you saw it in the ultimate high boy build series I did a while back and uh, this is our 69 F100 with 46,000 original miles real good shape so this is a 69 we'll take a look at and compare it to the 67 and this is my 72 F250 camper special. So uh, quite a bit of differences between this truck and uh, these two trucks here. So I brought this one along to show uh, the differences later on. But uh, mainly what I want to do today is show you this highlight the 67s and uh, why the 67s are such an oddball of the bump side groups and uh, why I like them so much. So uh, let's get started. I'll, I'll start off with the exterior here since we're we're already here. The the big thing that jumps out at me uh, for the 67s when you're looking at them on the outside, uh, if you're spotting them or anything, is the the hood emblem here. And if you're familiar with the uh, bump side trucks, most of them are like this here. They have this side reflector here. Well, 67s don't have that side reflector, and it's a lot shorter it's a lot physically shorter here they have the same holes so you, you'd be able to swap emblems if you wanted to or hoods for that matter but the uh, the the emblem is shorter this one is just a little bit longer and has that reflector in it the reason they did that and the reason they did a lot of changes for the 67 is the uh, 68 federal safety standards for uh, for automobiles and uh, you know those reflectors they had to have reflectors on the side so uh, they had to add those so uh, the 67s have a unique emblem here and I like these a lot. They have this red inlay under here and uh, I think they look really good. Moving on from the hood emblem, we are going to the grill here. The grills were unique to 67 as well. Uh, first thing is uh, right here you can see the vertical section is painted on the top and bottom. That would have been unique for the 67. All grills for the bump size were different subtly from year to year. and. Uh, that, that is one thing about the 67's is this is painted here but another thing that makes the grill shell unique is the uh, uh, the lack of a center bar here that's a little bit thicker let's go to this 69 and I'll show you what I'm talking about now this 69 has a uh, steel painted grill here and uh, see this center bar here it's a lot thicker and it has this indention running down the side go back here to this 67 it doesn't have that they're all the same they're all the same size all the way down so this grill is unique to a 67 now this truck here is a base model so uh, originally it would have had a painted steel grill much like our 69 over there because it had painted bumpers and everything and it's a base model so uh, I think this was added at some time but at least they added a 67 grill for on this so it matches so uh, that is cool moving on to the uh, some more of the exterior differences here some more uh, safety regulations that they added in 68 was uh, they had to have side reflectors and rear reflectors. Here you can see that the, they added on these reflectors here on the back of the 69. And uh, this truck obviously doesn't have them here. So uh, that's the way 67s would have been. All you would get is uh, tail lights. So uh, no side, side markers or reflectors or, or anything. So on the 69 here they have these side markers. Just give you a little bit more uh, visibility in the dark, especially if you're on a uh, side street turning out or something. Uh, you know, from the side, you wouldn't be able to see your lights if it's pitch black. So uh, they wanted to have those reflectors there. And uh, in uh, 
70 they added the uh, actual light on the side of the truck on the 72 here I'll show you that a little bit later on but right now we're focusing on the 67 let's see is there any more yes another exterior difference we can look at here the uh, it's a little dirty under here sorry about that guys I didn't wash this truck um, the inspection cover or access panel for the uh, cab mount here the the cover has four bolts one two three four and the uh, the later trucks didn't have that so let's go look at this 69 and I'll show you what I'm talking about they just have one bolt let's see if I can get it in here it's not high boy so it's harder to see uh, there's just one bolt up here at the top and it has a tab down here at the bottom where the bottom just hooked in and then had one bolt at the top there so uh, 67's had this four bolt panel right here this one's a three bolt panel because I'm missing a, a bolt there but uh, three bolt panel so uh, those are a little bit different on a 67 uh, let's uh, let's pop the hood and I'll show you some things under the hood here go ahead and pop the hood on this 69 as well all right now, I'm not quite sure what year this hood is, but it is not a 67 hood, sadly. Um, I don't have a 67 hood here to show you one, unfortunately, as well. But uh, right here, this right here would have been a little bit different on a 67, this little raised ribbing here. And also there's a hole that's missing. I don't know if it's that one. One of these holes is filled in on a 67. So uh, this hood here is a little bit later. 68 69 hood probably replaced see how it's got primer showing through the paints flaking off I think this hood's been replaced at some point um, so unfortunately I can't show you the 67 hood but one thing this 67 has is uh, these side braces I guess you would call them. little side braces for the hood to rest on here this 69 doesn't have them here so uh, 67's had this little side brace there. I think some of the 68's, the early 68's might have had these as well. Um, not 100% sure on that, but uh, for sure this 67 has it and the other trucks don't. So that is one unique item. So uh, while we're under here, this truck has a 428 and obviously that was not a uh, 67 item, but the engines or engine the uh, v8 engine was unique for 67 um, not unique in the sense of it was the only year it was the 352 fe which was uh, the v8 fe used uh, in previous year trucks you know before 67 but 67 was the last year for the 352 and uh, the only bump bump side with a 352 and now i i took the 352 out of this and i put it in my 69 f350 you might have saw in an episode a while back and I have the air cleaner off of that and uh, this air cleaner is different for 67 it's a little bit smaller you can kind of see the, the sticker there it would have said 352 and uh, 208 or 206 horsepower I think it's a little bit smaller so let's take this air cleaner now this the 69 has a six cylinder so I can't compare it to that air cleaner but my 72 over here has a uh, 390 in it and I'll show you what I mean by smaller get this hood popped open there we go see that this is a 390 and uh, that air cleaner is a lot bigger and that's what you typically see on the bump sides with an FE now if I put this air cleaner up here it's just a uh, a lot smaller in diameter and also the snout the uh, snorkel there see how it's a lot smaller on this one it's a lot bigger and square that's just another little difference there but the the major difference for the 67s for me anyway goes to the interior so uh, let's uh, let's gear up and go look at the interior on this thing because that's where things really get start get interesting okay let's do the interior here first and foremost would be the doors the 67's were unique in their doors they are a one year only door and uh, 
the uh, armrest was different door handle was different window crank was different and door lock assemblies so the window crank is more of the old style uh, looks looks a little similar I don't know if they're the same as like uh, 66 and older but they're a lot older style looking uh, door uh, window cranks look here on this 69 door you can see the big difference here window crank is a lot uh, smaller the knob and uh, the armrest is larger and the grab handle is in the armrest there so the on a 67 door you pull up to open push down to lock so and if you're you're inside you need to unlock the door say to the passenger side you just pull up and that unlocks the door whereas on 69 or 68 and uh, to 72 you have the uh, the push button here you know that's lock and if you want to unlock it you have to pull up on the knob so if it's locked and you want to open the other door you can't grab the handle you have to reach over here and pull up the knob so that that's different uh, between 67 and 68 to 72 I'm not sure if this was I think this was something to do with some regulation uh, safety regulation for people being locked inside or something I don't know uh, the window cranks I'm not sure why they changed that they might have just updated it while they updated the door and the uh, the door shells are different too so you can't just swap the door panel out from a 67 the uh, the actual inner structure of the door panel in here is different uh, I'm not going to take this off and show you but uh, obviously as you can tell the uh, the door handle is way different than the uh, the other truck so the the in inner structure in there is going to be way different and these armrests right here uh, this was an option on the 67s so uh, you can't have a 67 that does not have this armrest here so it'd just be blank here so uh, that that is an option to be looking for on a 67 when you're looking at them another thing on the door while we're at the door is the uh, vent window latch it's a unique item to a 67 see it has this arm and this tab over here if we look over here on this 69 it's just this one little arm and, and it's stuck over there so those those are unique to a 67 these are the same from 68 to 72 but 67's had this little different little different vent window latch so now that we did the doors we can go to the interior moving from left to right I'm gonna try to cover everything I might miss some stuff uh, but uh, bear with me I'm, I'm trying to go all this off the top of my head so I hope I don't miss anything the uh, the uh, parking brake uh, assembly here and the brake pedal assembly is uh, slightly different 67 to uh, uh, 68 to 72 is they will interchange they're just slightly different in different ways not a big deal uh, the gauge bezel here this this piece that surrounds it now this is a base model truck so it has a steel bezel uh, you could have had a plastic bezel um, I think there's slight differences in those we might go check and look at another 68 cab I have and go look at that one and see if it's any different but uh, we'll look at the steel ones right now because that's what I have in front of me this is a steel bezel here gauge bezel and it's 67 and it's painted white as you can see here and uh, this part right here is white and this right here is white so uh, we got another base model here this 69 is a base model with a steel bezel so let's go look at that yeah so here's the 69 and the bezel is gray so uh, that white was a uh, 70 67 only uh, item there so that's the great the gauge bezel just a color difference there on the steel ones and the uh, the ignition is different I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys oh you get to look at my wiring right in here here's the ignition Oh, it's pretty tight in here there's a there's a stud sticking off the back of the ignition anyway I don't know if you guys saw that or not but there's a stud sticking off the back of the ignition that's unique to uh, 67's it's a, a hot stud on the back I think it's switched so uh, is hot whenever the keys on and uh, you have you have uh, different accessories on the on the uh, wiring harness that sticks to that stud there and has a nut on the back 
Another thing that's different on 67s would be the uh, the uh, switch, what would you call these? Switch rings or labels, I don't know. They're, they're a little bit different, the lettering is different. Let's see if I can find my... Uh, Oh, this truck doesn't have a cigarette lighter. I was going to pull a cigarette lighter out and show you. But uh, let me go get... I'm going to get the cigarette lighter out of this truck. And I'll show you the differences. It'll be a lot easier to see it with them side by side. They actually call these cigar lighters on the uh, catalog, not cigarette. I don't know if cigars were more popular back then or what. But here we go. Okay. If you can tell the letters on this 72 one, here maybe you can see this one. The letters on the 72 are a lot bigger. Uh, can you tell? See that one says lights? That's a lighter, but they're a lot bigger. And also the knob, the knob is more rounded off. Um, see if I can. It's kind of hard to tell. Sorry guys, but uh, the the knob is more rounded off. But anyway, that's just a little bitty little bitty thing. The that the uh, the uh, I don't know what you call them rings uh, label rings. I don't know. They're a little little bit different on a '67. Now, on the ashtray itself, since I had that open, these are not interchangeable. Uh, there's two bolts on a '67. Up here to hold it in on a 69 there's just one so these aren't interchangeable and the the major thing on the interior for me anyways is besides the doors is the heater controls and the radio so if you're familiar with a bump side truck this looks way different than what you're used to seeing unless you have a 67 they have knobs for the heater and the radio looks similar but it's actually a lot smaller and it's a one year only radio so these things are real hard to come by in working condition this one is not currently working so I don't have a radio right now and there isn't an aftermarket radio that fits in the factory uh, radio bezel here so this radio bezel is unique the radio is unique and the heater controls are unique for 67 now how the radio works on the 67 not the radio the heater to turn the heat on you pull that and it opens the flap to allow air to flow through and then this knob also controls your fan speed so high and low you only get two speeds so it's a two speed fan where the other ones have a three speed so high low and off so that that closes your your heater off and your temperature control is just a knob so that just controls the valve on the heater hose under the under the hood of the truck so that's opening and shutting your heater your heater valve to control temperature and then you have a pull knob for defrost so that you know that's defrost and then that's regular so that's moving your flap here to change your defrost and radio is the same controls on and off here as uh, the other trucks it's just that they're a lot smaller and they don't have uh, preset buttons if you have a uh, higher truck that has preset you know it doesn't it never none of 67's ever came with those because the the radio bezel is a lot shorter or smaller and but uh, moving on further here we have the uh, glove box cover now this looks a lot similar to all the other glo glove box covers and you would be correct what is different is the button so they had the uh, safety standards updated and uh, apparently that button there was too sharp and they didn't want you hitting your head on that button and cutting yourself I guess so they made it a lot rounder now I don't know about you but I think if you're already hitting that button you're already having a bad day but the the uh, the glove box control is a unique item to 67 uh, let's go look at this 69 and you'll see what I'm talking about it's a lot more rounded off see how that's a lot more rounded off I don't think I'd want to hit either one of them with my forehead but uh, they wanted them a little more rounded off for safety so and here's a good look at the uh, the heater controls for a 68 and up bump side you know you have heat on and off and then this lever also controls defrost and then your temperature rod 
you know temperature you know high low and your fan speed here you got a three three speed fan with the 68 to 72s and this truck here has a radio delete so uh, there's no radio on this one but let's go look at this 72 and I can show you the radio on it and it'll give you an idea of the the size difference of the radios here's the uh, rounded off glove box button see the radio bezel it's a lot bigger top to bottom and left to right this is an aftermarket radio but uh, they're they're just a lot bigger so they do not uh, do not interchange which is annoying but uh, it's cool to have a such a unique truck and here's here's a plastic uh, gauge bezel like I was talking about before that's the plastic one so usually your custom cab and up trim trucks had those so uh, the base model trucks well 68 sorry, 67 to 68 base model trucks had the had the uh, metal gauge bezel from 70 and up I think they all had the plastic one there's a few more differences in the cab here let's not forget up here at the top the uh, rear view mirror this is a unique 67 item see how it's integrated into the uh, sun visor hold down there and the uh, the mirror comes off of that there's no there's no uh, mount to the windshield there so that is unique for 67 another unique item for 67 would be the garment hooks there's not one over here okay the garment hook there is uh, on the screw for the headliner trim just a little bitty hook right there that's a unique 67 item so let's go look at the mirror and garment hook on this 69 so you can see the difference there's the uh, rear view mirror on the 69 see it's mounted to the windshield and the sun visor hook right there is uh, its own little thing and over here the garment hook is mounted on the cab instead of the headliner trim right there so uh, that right there is uh, different on 67 so well let's see I'm probably forgetting some things I hope not we did the doors we did the uh, window vent we did the glove box radio heater all the little switches the color there so yeah I think uh, I think that does the major differences with the 67 so anyway guys I think that's everything let me know if I missed anything I hope I didn't I think I did a pretty good job of comprehen comprehensive coverage there. There might be a few little things that are different, but I touched the major things. The heater, doors, hood emblem. Those are the major things on the 67 that are unique. So uh, since the, uh, the radio and the heater controls are different, the cabs are not interchangeable. So uh, they are unique for 67, 67 only thing and uh, there's a few other little 67 things that this truck doesn't show so we got a few other 67's out there let's hop in this uh, in our 69 here and go take a look at them need to get this thing out and uh, charge up the battery run it a little bit all oh, those doors just open so much nicer on our low use truck it's just miles miles different than one that's been used up a lot windows roll down great that's three on the tree let's see if I can drive this thing with one hand this thing's so quiet quiet you can barely hear it run okay we got a uh, F600 67 over here. Let's go check it out. Now we actually just picked this truck up for the bed, and it being a 67 was a bonus. So we got all the uh, little 67 parts from it, or we're going to. Sorry, it's all dirty. It was muddy when we drove this thing home, but 
This guy has the uh, non-reflector hood emblem there. Grab handle here, you know, armrest, 67 items there. And the, uh, the this actually has a Motorola 67 radio. It doesn't work, sadly, but uh, an aftermarket Motorola radio and the three pull knobs there for the, the heater. So uh, pretty neat that uh, this thing has all that stuff still. The uh, garment hook is missing on the headliner. And this is a custom cab, so it has a chrome headliner trim. And uh, the uh, gauge bezel is different on the F600s. They have these uh, these round gauges in here. But uh, anyway, it has the uh, armrest and everything that's different. So uh, there's another 60 cab, 67 cab for you. But we have another one up here that has a unique item that only 67 halves, 67s have. And it's rare even to 67s. I've only seen a few. So let's go check it out. Okay, we're over here in the boneyard. Let's go check out this other 67 we got. Now this one's disassembled, and it's actually a high boy. And uh, I hope, here's the frame, I hope at some point to put this thing back together. This is my dad's truck. Grew up in this thing here on the ranch. It's a custom cab here. Okay. These doors do not go with this truck, so uh, it has later model doors. I think they're off of a 70, so they don't match the truck. But here we have the radio, 67 radio. But as you can see, there's no heater knobs here. So you might think, did it have a heater delete? No, the heater's there. There's the blower. There's the uh, defrost box. It has an extra knob right there. Let's see if we can get this headliner out of the way. Let's see if I can climb up in here. Okay, so it has a one knob radio. This was the radio heater. This was called the uh, deluxe. No, the economy heater. The three here were called the deluxe heater, and this was an option on the '67s. The heater, the different style heater. Now on this truck, you have uh, the knob, which is basically this knob here on off is your heater and in your fan speed two speed fan speed but uh, you didn't get a temperature knob um, I don't know if they didn't have a heater valve on there or if they just had one and you had to manually shut it off in the summertime when you didn't want the uh, the coolant going through your heater core but for defrost they had this lever here now if you have a if you have a bump side and you've, and you've always wondered why it says DEF on and off that's from your defrost. So on these economy heater 67s, they had a this one seized up, but you had a uh, lever here to turn your defrost on and off. So uh, it's a pretty uh, simple system. At least you didn't have to worry about a cable freezing up. So on this 67, it has uh, the economy heater. You can see here the uh, rearview mirror is uh, unique there. And since this is a custom cab, it has the uh, chrome headliner trim as well. And uh, right there's a better look at the garment hook, little bitty thing. And uh, the uh, the doors off of this thing, my dad took these uh, the '67 doors off of this because they were getting real wore out and uh, beat up. And he bought a cab for for these doors and put these on it. But the the uh, original doors for this truck would have had that uh, that trim around the door panel or the I guess the door panel, yeah. Uh, they had that trim as well because this is a custom cab even though that's the wrong year door But it still had that panel that trim panel there and another thing that's different about this one since this is a custom cab It doesn't have that steel gauge bezel 67s can be a pain because trying to find parts for them like radios uh, No aftermarket radios and trying to find a working uh, Factory radio that can be kind of a pain, but they're also pretty neat because uh there's such unique items with them. So, it's cool that uh, 
I think it's cool that 67s are so unique and uh, all the little differences about them. You see here's the uh, side supports on this one here. It's got those two. And here's a little better look at the, uh, the uh, four bolt inspection cover there for the cab mount bolt. But anyway, this truck here is basically why I like 67s and why I like high boys. Because, uh, you know, this truck was a high boy, F26 it in. I grew up riding around in this thing, checking cattle, feeding cattle. Good times. We took this thing apart in, I think, 2003 to do a rebuild on it. Hopefully, I'm hoping that uh, one day I'll get this truck out of here and put it back together the way it was with the wrong gear bed. It has a white bed. There's the bed there. It's a 70 and up bed. And uh, there's a big bumper back there with the front spare tire mount on the front of it. And uh, high boy chassis and all. And uh, I want to use the blue doors off of that F600 we got and put on here. And so we have 67 doors back on this thing and uh, get it back on the road. Well, there you go, guys. That's just my take on the differences of the 67 and why I like them so much. I thought you guys might be wondering why I like the 67 so much. And uh, a little bit of the differences on the later model bump sides. I hope I got everything right. If I didn't, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if I missed something, let me know. I know you guys will uh, keep me honest on that deal. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps it out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.